Hey guys, how's it going? So a couple weeks ago, I bought a PS2. Now I've been wanting a PS2 for ever. Uh, I had it originally, I had the slim version. I actually got the silver slim, which is pretty cool. I've been wanting one for a while now, only because the PlayStation 3 does not play PlayStation 2 games, which sucks. It plays PlayStation 1 games fine, but I don't know why they just didn't make everything backwards compatible with everything. It would have been so much easier. Um, but yeah, I picked um, picked one up. Uh, I traded in some Super Nintendo PlayStation 1 games. And I got enough credit to get the system in a bunch of games. And the uh, last couple weeks I've been buying more and more games. So uh, I just thought I'd show off some of my, uh, some of my PlayStation 2 games. The ones I got so far, the ones you guys know about are The Thing, which is a pretty cool game, and Max Payne 2, which is really fun. Um, have not been able to find Max Payne, uh, but I, I am on the lookout for that. Uh, first one up is one of my favorite little westerns. It's Gun. Uh, picked this up for, how much did I pay this up? Four bucks. Uh, PlayStation 2 games are extremely cheap now. Uh, if you guys are into playing just games uh, and want to get into something, PlayStation 2 is probably one of them. Um, I guess I'm saying um all the time. Thomas Jane voices uh, the, the cowboy here. Uh, what's his name? Colton White. Uh, it's like a Red Dead Redemption kind of game. There's the back of it. Don't know if you can see too, too much of it. It's a really fun western. I really, really like it. It's not like a, I don't know if it's open world. It's been like forever since I played this, but I think it's like a, a linear base game. Maybe a little hints of open world, but I really like it. Next up is X-Men Next Dimension. It's a cool fighting game. Uh, I have X-Men Academy 1 and 2 for the PlayStation, and uh, this was one of the other ones I wanted to get, so I picked that one up. Decent graphics, decent fighting mechanics, uh, nice roster. There's a there's a huge nice roster for that, which was uh, good. <laughs> I love how they uh, they couldn't find the original booklet, so they they photocopied and stapled stuff from the internet on it. But that's kind of it's kind of cool. Kind of glad they did that because it has all the move sets in it. The um, reason it's not in there is because I'm playing it. Next up is Manhunt. Uh, if you can find Manhunt, I highly recommend picking this up. It's a very violent game. Uh, probably mediocre for for now. The now times, especially when we're in the PS4, Xbox One state. But for the time, it was, it was super crazy. It was really banned. I think Manhunt 2 was banned... Uh, in Australia and some in the UK I think but uh, if you can find this one this is this is a gem I got this for 10 bucks kind of pricey but uh, uh, I really like it it's Rockstar come on anything Rockstar you got you got pick up uh, got a Call of Duty finest hour it's Call of Duty you get to play uh, American Russian in the British and there's not much you can say, but it's Call of Duty. I want to pick up Call of Duty 3 and the big red one. I think this out. A really interesting game, uh, Jet Li Rise of Honor. Got this for a dollar. I, I really like this game. The fighting mechanics is pretty cool. You fight with the right analog stick, and there's no button mashing. It's really unique how, how the fighting works. You just, like, tap tap the right analog stick wherever and um, it's like a sleeping dogs uh, what else is there stranglehold type of fighting game I would think it would be more like uh, like a sleeping dogs if you guys are into that Jet Li's pretty cool uh, the motion and fighting gun mechanics are pretty awesome he's just flipping around all over the place and I I got the whole manual and whatnot for that one, so that was pretty cool. For a dollar, why not try it? Uh, one of my favorite golfing um, uh, franchise, Hot Shots. 
Golf 3. This is the third one in the series. Um, only one I could find at the, for the time. Uh, just, it's fun. It's golf. I picked this up for a dollar. So why not? It came with the manual. Anything that comes for, with the manual and it's a dollar, I'm not going to complain about it. So. Um, this was a blind one. I've never played this. Project Snowblind. Got this for two dollars. It's a first-person shooter type game. Uh, the outcome of experimental battlefield surgery is something more than human. The unique weapons grade warrior Nathan Frost has the abilities that far suppress, suppress human physical limits. Sent deep beyond the fort lines, Frost and his handful of men are the best chance against the world's next terrorist uh, sol solvents. At the last attempt to restore peace, war shall rage. Hmm. I think I played this. I'm, I'm not too sure, but for two bucks, why not? I think it came complete. Yeah. Fair enough. Complete. I uh, picked this up today. Uh, Ace Combat at four, Shattered State for two bucks. I don't know what this is, but it's a, f a fighting flight simulator. I thought I'd just give it a go. Uh, never played the Ace Combat games. Game complete. So that was cool. I was really surprised to find this, especially for the price. Uh, Enter the Matrix for a dollar. Uh, I used to play this when it first came out. Nope. Complete. You get to play as side characters. Uh, Oh, what the hell's her name? Jada Pickett Smith's character and some Chinese guy. I don't know who that dude is. But uh, you get to run up the walls and fire guns and whatnot. And I love the case. It's got that metallic kind of feel. So do that and it looks like it's moving. So for a dollar, why not? Another uh, $2 game. I got uh, the original Kill Zone. I got Killzone 2 and 3 upstairs, and I've always wanted to complete the trilogy, and now I do. And apparently this is from Roger's video. Got a little sticker. A little sticker on the manual. Like, why Why would they put a sticker on the manual? What? Dummies. <laughs> Stupid. I've always liked the Killzone franchise. I used to have uh, PSP. Used to have that um, PSP game. Sorry. Go ahead, go. Been long, long week, and the last game I got was Mission Impossible Operation Surma for four bucks. I uh, traded in my uh, Mission Impossible game for the PS One. It wasn't working all that great, so I thought I'd just uh, trade that in and get this one. Yeah, looks pretty cool. I'm gonna play that one later. See how it is. But yeah, that's it. Uh, besides my. Uh, PlayStation. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I'm going to start collecting PS2 games. I got a crap load of PS3 now. I, I think I got close to 200 games for that. So I'm going to take a break and start focusing on the PlayStation 2. But let me know what you guys thought about those games. If there's any other games out there that I should pick up that might be cheap, I might pick up uh, from your recommendation. But beyond that, um, that's it for today's video, guys. I love you, and uh, I will talk to you later. Alright, bye.